Faith into Action. I'm Pastor Arlen. Today is December the 9th. Thank you for joining me. Scripture I have for you is found in Romans chapter 4, verse 20. It says, Abraham never wavered in believing God's promise. In fact, his faith grew stronger, and in this, he brought glory to God. So do you know how powerful your praise is to God? Praise is putting your faith into action. And just as putting your physical body into action makes it grow stronger, putting your faith into action through prayer and thanksgiving will cause it to grow strong also. See, I, I really love this verse because this verse says some things about Abraham. It says, No unbelief made him waver regarding the promises of God. So, uh, to waver actually means to go back and forth, back and forth, up one minute, down the next. It's a very unsteady posture. And spiritual wavering is when we go back and forth believing the promises of God. As spiritual wavering shows up in our words and in our actions. So when you speak contrary to God's promises, you are wavering and uh, you are very unsteady. Notice that this verse didn't say that Abraham never had unbelief. Or it didn't say uh, he didn't have any doubting thoughts. But it says that he didn't waver. He didn't allow his words. He didn't allow his actions to go against God. No matter what he was thinking. So he took captive every thought. And he stood strong through his praise and through his worship to God. See, praise makes you stable. It makes you strong. It's hard to be negative when you, uh, you know, are singing a song of praise to God. And so today, I want to encourage you to, to decide to stand strong in worship. Put your faith into action with your words. And watch what God will do on your behalf. I would like to say a prayer over you today. Father, I pray over all those under my voice. Father, we just praise you and bless your holy name today. And Father, we thank you for the life that you've given us. And Father, we thank you for the breath that we get to breathe. And Father, thank you for providing uh, for us, providing healing, providing strength, and providing joy. Father, today... We praise you for your abundant supply of all of our needs so that we can be a blessing to others. And we're giving you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. And again, my scripture, Romans 4.20. Abraham never wavered in believing God's promise. In fact, his faith grew stronger. And in this, he brought glory to God. God bless you, and I will see you next time.